The last set of options in the site info pane belong to the footer control group. And uh, the footer is this area at the bottom of the page, which is presently a dark gray color. So the first option is a checkbox to display that or not. If you want to get rid of it, you can. Um, but I think that's a poor choice. For reasons of search engine optimization, uh, usability to your visitors, and also just so that you can put your name and copyright on your page, it's a very good idea to keep the footer intact. So the first thing we get is the actual text for the footer, and this should be your copyright line. You can either change that here in the control pane, or you can come down to the footer itself, click on that text, and change it in the page preview. So I'm going to go ahead and put in copyright 2010 Matthew Campagna Photography. And uh, when it re-renders, that change takes effect. We then have some color controls, so we can go ahead and start changing colors around. I'm going to set the text to be the cream color that we used previously in the menu. I'm going to set the background color to be the same as my header. And the border can stay black. Uh, I like that. What I'm going to do next is work on my hyper color or my hyperlink colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and that also can be the cream color for now and the hover color is going to be black. Um, just as with many other elements, we can change the font families being used if we so desire. I'm going to leave those set to Helvetica. I am going to increase the font size to make things a little easier to read. I'm going to increase the size of the border on top. You can see that border there. I'm going to take that up to two pixels just so it's a little stronger than one. Um, the vertical padding slider allows you to adjust the space between the top border and the first line of text. So as I move that around, you can see that that space is adjustable. I'm going to leave that at 20. And then the footer height allows you to adjust the height of the, the entire footer. So that can go up to 150 or it can be smaller if you so choose. Uh, again, I'm going to leave that at the default setting of 100. You can also uh, change the text alignment for your footer. It can go left, right, or centered. I'm going to leave mine in the center. And then we've got a few check boxes. Uh, the first one is display footer navigation menu. And what that does is it mirrors the menu items available in the main site navigation and places them in the footer. That way, when a visitor gets to the bottom of your gallery, uh, they don't have to go back to the top to get to another page. They can just go ahead and use the nav that's in the footer. So if you want to display that, you can. Or if you want to make it go away, you just disable that checkbox. This next feature comes in by user request. It's a checkbox that says stick to bottom of page. And uh, by default, that's what it does. It sticks to the bottom of the page. But some people don't necessarily like that feature. And so if you'd prefer that uh, the footer stick to your content, let me bring in a few images just to have them up there so I can show you. You can disable this checkbox, and then your footer will detach itself from the bottom of the page and reattach itself to the bottom of your content. Now, it looks kind of silly having a big red stripe running through the middle of your page, but what we can do is kill that border on top and then use the next checkbox to make the footer background transparent. And what that leaves behind is footer text floating beneath your images. So if you'd prefer that footer to be closer to the content, that's how you do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and undo those settings because I do want my footer stuck to the bottom of my page. And the very last checkbox is this Powered by TTG attribution, which you can see down here at the bottom. It says Powered by the Turning Gate TTG, and it links back to my website. Uh, that way, people who like your image gallery can come back to the Turning Gate and investigate my products. If you would prefer, however, not to have TTG branding on your page, that is your option. You can disable that checkbox, and the attribution and hyperlink back to my site goes away. 
So that closes things down for the site info pane. So I'm going to come back up here, collapse that, and we'll be moving on in the next set of videos.